That would be so cool to have a house like this. You got your own little private bridge. <laughs> oh man, it'd be intense. Yeah, there's water like right at their door. That's cool. Well, once you get away from the tourists and everything, Venice is really cool. Even though we're tourists. <laughs> it just opens up into these little squares. We are finally getting gelato. Do they have anything good? No, they have Oreo. I said, do they have anything good? You said, no, they have Oreo. I said, eh. No. <laughs> one of Oreo and one of chocolate chips. That's it. I got dolce and cheese curd. Excuse me. Can I give you one? Oh, yeah. That's it. Hey, look at that. See, look at that. We got a card for if you're in Venice. There you go. I'm getting us back to our Airbnb without the use of a GPS because her phone died. And I'm a professional. We cross this bridge. And then should be that one. We should cross this bridge right here. And our place should be on the right. Boom. I got us back. I'm now a pro at getting around Venice on foot. Yeah, and I feel like this is more complicated than in Rome. Yeah, definitely. See, we were just walking down there. We're about to get freshened up a little bit, change clothes, all that good stuff, and then we uh, we got reservations for a place at 8 o'clock, I believe. Forgot the name of it. It's like Bocadoro. Bocadoro. Something like that. But we looked up uh, like best restaurant according to the locals and I think that's how we're gonna search it from now on. So there's supposed to be like no tourists, should be some good food. Yep, see you then. We've been using this stuff to uh, de-wrinkle our shirts since we're packing them up and everything. Can went a little crazy on this one. No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh my God, the front's horrible. Yeah, the front's horrible. Yeah, you guys can see that. That big wet spot, yeah. Yeah, that's de-wrinkler. Well, what's that? That's another wet spot. <laughs> yep, it looks like I'm lactating. And then show my back. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Is it still wet? You notice it? <laughs> Yeah. The thing is, she pops up and she's like, it's 724, we gotta go. We got eight o'clock reservations. And uh, I'm like, yeah, okay, look, all I have to do is throw my shirt on. Went in there, found my shirt with giant wet marks. It's very noticeable. Why did you leave me in charge of your shirt? You have been handling all of the other shirts with de-wrinkling and it's been great. I don't know what happened this time. I don't know if I'm recording on the way there or not, but you know, <laughs> we'll show our food because it's gonna be delicious. We got cleaned up. We're ready to go. Where are we going? I don't know what it's called. Boca Doro. Sexy in a little way. <laughs> this way? I think so. No, 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 no. Back there. there okay. <laughs> I knew it smelled like pee down here. What are you doing? There's been a, uh, a strong aroma of urine and we found out that it's the guy that lets his dog walk right there and just oh can't trust the puddles yep this will never get old Chop hit me you don't know what old it's bird poop That's awesome. And this is our dinner for the night. I feel like it finally worked out for us. This is our little room that we have. We got some Venetian glass. Venetian glass. So I pointed this out as Venetian glass. I didn't even realize it is legit Venetian glass, but it's also our glass glass. It's, it's got water in it. I've never think, seen anything served in a seashell. That's so crazy. That was the most unique meal ever. Here's our dinner. Egg like one of these favorite vegetables. 
That looks glorious. Oh, miss. It's the best creme brulee I've ever had. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I'm taking the camera. There were people sitting next to us the entire time, and I was like sneaking, taking video, because we can't understand what they're saying, but I heard them say, oh, so our dessert came, and then I heard them say something, something in Italian, and I heard camera, and then they both chuckled, and I was like, I don't want to take a video now. So I waited for them to leave, and then I'm doing a video. Best creme brulee ever. And it's still warm, too. Oh my god. It's so good. Yours is really good, too. I like yours. You eating all the cocoa powder? Yeah. It's just, it, it was all cocoa powder, and she's just eating it. Yep. This is the best restaurant that we've had so far in Italy. And we've been to quite a few cities so far. If you're in the Venice area, you need to check this one out because it was fantastic. To make it even cooler, this is like the only restaurant. So it's like its own little private square just for this restaurant. All right, just to go over everything that we had in that meal, traditional Italian meals. You have the appetizer, the first plate, the second plate, then dessert, and then coffee or cappuccino. So we had the goose. It was just on a bed of arugula with some uh, balsamic glaze on top. They really like arugula here. That's one thing that we've learned in Italy, just arugula, expect it. Then the first plate, we went with uh, some kind of pasta. With scallops. With scallops or in scallops. it, with uh, zucchini. And then they served it in a clamshell like half of a clamshell. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it was unique. And then uh, for the second plate, we went with our waiter's recommendation, which was uh, sea bass with, I guess just like roasted vegetables. I had a tomato that we didn't eat, uh, zucchini, eggplant, and some carrots. This room just smells like poop. Waiter's recommendations were excellent. We ate every bit of it except for that tomato. I was asking him about desserts and everything. And I was like, well, what's this one? What's this one? And he said, well, this one is like a creme brulee, except it wasn't like a creme brulee. It was creme brulee. So I got it. Duh. Duh. And it was actually the best creme brulee I've ever had in my life. If anybody knows me, they know that I like creme brulee. Like I get it anytime I go to a restaurant that has it. So far, I've gotten it twice because two restaurants that we've been to have had creme brulee. Yeah, they don't get a whole lot of tourists and that's why we went there. We wanted something like the locals eat pretty much and it was amazing. This is the best meal that we've had since we've been in Italy. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. And the wine, oh, the wine was so smooth. It was also a recommendation from our waiter. He recommended that one. It was from Verona, Verona, which we're actually going to Verona tomorrow. But he said Verona has some of the best wine. So that's pretty much it for Venice. Uh, tomorrow morning we're gonna go to a little cafe, catch some breakfast. Tomorrow we're going to Verona, like I just said, and then we're also stopping in Bologna. We're ending in San Marino. If you don't know about San Marino, you need to look it up. It's its own country surrounded by Italy, and it's gonna be amazing. I'm looking forward to that so much. I cannot wait. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good morning. Yep. Oh, uh, buona notte, Mrs. Arre. Good night, Mr. Bye, guys. <laughs>